life is not an aesthetic and our homes exist to serve us, not the other way around. I woke up this morning and I absolutely hated everything about my life. And I thought, let's list our house, put it on the market and move. But that is not reasonable. So instead, I just made my kitchen more functional because sometimes that's all we need. I made us a little coffee bar today. So I moved the coffee maker to the other side of the sink. And then I've got the frother that my husband got me for our anniversary. Does cold foam, warm, steams it, all the stuff. Um, this is honey that my friend Becca makes. This is supposed to be a coffee scoop, but I haven't used it yet. Somebody gave it to me. Then I've got the coffee in here. And then one of the reasons I did this was because these are, this is my collection of hand thrown mugs, but I was keeping them in the window and I was worried that over time the clay would start to deteriorate. My husband's travel mugs that he drinks out of every day, candles, and then I just stuck this over here for now. It's like hot chocolate. Um, K cups and my Java sock for my iced coffee. And then up here I've got, you know, mugs and stuff, but I've got my mugs that I take my iced coffee in. So. I love you too. Speaking of iced coffee, this was $3.99 at Aldi today. And I bought this before and I really liked it. It's 32 ounces of concentrate. It says it makes eight to 12 cups. It's more like six to eight, but I bought four of them because we absolutely love this. Another tip, these salads at Aldi are $2.99. The chopped salad, Caesar salad, is great. We will have this for dinner. So my husband will just make chicken breasts the way he makes it, which I made a video, video about before. And then we just eat it with a salad. And then I'm going to talk about these in an upcoming video, but I made two coffee syrups today. So this is brown sugar cinnamon. This is vanilla. I put a vanilla bean in there. I just used some jars that I had. These took less than five minutes to make. My husband baked bread over the weekend, and I'm going to make my kids an open-faced toasted turkey sandwich. Two of them will eat it. Two of them won't. And I will just make them something else because that's what I do. Sorry if you hoped for some advice on getting your kids to eat things. I, you won't get that here. I'm gonna put my reusable bags away so I know where they are later. Progress. This is absolutely what this room looks like every day when my kids are finished with school. So I'm gonna clean it up. I know I should make them clean it up, but stuff doesn't get put back where I want it to be. <laughs> and so this is just something I do. They can clean up something else. Okay, a little bit better. We've got to put our binders away and then I've got to fill out their school notebooks for tomorrow. Go so set up my kids' water slide and then I'm going to make them some smoothies. I bought this slide off Amazon a few weeks ago and it's been amazing and I should have bought it back in May because it's been great for these relentlessly hot summer days. Make a little smoothie for them and my mom's vintage blender. It's hot outside and I sweat it a so now I've changed into my house dress. This is a dress I got from Walmart two years ago and it is my house dress. I wear it all the time when I'm just cleaning or existing and I don't want to put on nice clothes. But I thought I would go back to what I was talking about earlier about waking up and just hating your entire life. Sometimes it's just not, it's, it's just feared that way. You're just that way. You're tired. Maybe there's something going on. Maybe it's hormones, whatever. That's just the human condition. Um, but one thing that I've learned is when I get that way, that's a spending trigger for me. And so identifying spending triggers is really important. And so before I go on Amazon and buy something to fix a problem that I invented in my own head, I ask, am I tired? Am I stressed? Am I hungry? Am I bored? Am I emotional? The answer is usually yes to all of the above. I just now realized I forgot to put on mascara today. I wanted to talk about some things I do when I start to feel that way that kind of make me feel better. Identify that spending trigger. Number two, what is a healthier way that I can deal with it? Talk to someone, write about my feelings, play some music, 
go for a walk, enjoy the stuff I already have. Enjoy the stuff I already have. Light a candle, get out the good towels you got when you got married, and enjoy the stuff that you have because your life is a special occasion. Don't save all of your things. And then what can I do to make myself feel better about this space that I have using only what I have? So this is a challenge that I give myself. There used to be a show on, I think it was HGTV years ago called Design on a Dime, where they would try to redo someone's home as cheaply as possible. And by redo, I mean redecorate. <laughs> And sometimes they would do it for free by just taking things that they already had in their home and reappointing them. And so that's what I did with a coffee bar. I've done that with spaces. So we needed some more space for the kids to play and for us to do our preschool and kindergarten stuff. And so I turned our foyer into a playroom. That is the space that best serves us functionally. Is it the most conventional use? No, but I don't care if people walk into my house and there's a Melissa and Doug rug on the floor with train tracks on it because this is my house and we live in it. Like actual humans live here. Life is not an aesthetic and our homes exist to serve us, not the other way around. We're not living in a showroom. We're not living in Pinterest. We're living in homes and they need to reflect our real actual lives and values. Okay, so I did that at the coffee bar and now I'm gonna show you how I've also done that at my desk. So how I make my tiny little desk a functional space for me. There's my pantry behind me. There's my dining room. Here is my actual office. So these are floating shelves that my husband built me. It's just one shelf. And I've got old planners, index cards to make notes, a mug with pins in it. Those are all of our chat books, Tums because, ugh. And then notes that I write myself to stay motivated and some notes that my kids wrote me. This desk was my grandfather's. I read it a few years ago. It was the first, it was the gift that my grandmother got him the first Christmas they were married. Laptop, second laptop, Bluetooth, Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mind completely blanked on the word keyboard. And then this is just a docking station where I keep them. This I moved from another room. I needed a little shelf so I could slide my sticky notes under it. I already had this. I've got a little touch lamp. Boop, 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 boop. A mug that I keep pens, pencils, my eyeglasses, and moisturizer. <sighs> Coffee, always. And then this is my little timer. So it's a cube timer. You can do, oh, turn my lamp off. 10 minutes, five minutes, three minutes, or one minute based on where you flip it. So there you go. And my noise canceling headphones. I've had these for several years. They're Sony. They're kind of expensive, but I've only had to charge them a handful of times because the battery lasts for so long. And that is great for working at night. It's also great for just listening to brown noise or lo-fi to keep me on track. My timer keeps me on track. Okay. This video was very random. <laughs> but thank you for being here anyway and for hanging out with me. And I would love to know what do you do when you feel just so discontented with your life? And how do you make your space beautiful without spending money? I'd love to know. Thank you for being here. This little computer my son drew me. And I'll see you soon.